Welcome to Cloud Infrastructure Services YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to show you how you can set up an Ansible control node server on Ubuntu hosted on Azure. So simply click the link in the description box to come to this marketplace listing for Azure and from here you want to create a new virtual machine with this particular image. Now this image comes with pre-installed Ansible control node server. So from this product page, click on get it now and then click on continue. And then from this product page, simply click on create. After that, you would be brought to this page from where you can customize your virtual machine. So choose a subscription that you have, choose a resource group by creating a new one or by choosing an already existing one and then give your virtual machine a name. So I'm going to call mine as Ansible. After that, simply choose the region where you want to deploy your virtual machine and make sure that the image is the one that you got from the link in the description box. After that, scroll down and choose the size according to your requirements and for the authentication type, I'm going to go with the SSH public key. And finally, make sure to give yourself a username. So I'm going to call mine as CIS. And then when you're satisfied with the setting, simply click on review plus create. Now that is going to initiate a validation process. So simply wait for the validation process to complete. Once the validation process is done, simply click on create to actually create that virtual machine. Now this time around, it is going to prompt you to download the private key and create resource. So download the private key in a secure folder because this is the private key that you would be using to connect to the SSH terminal of our virtual machine. After that, you need to simply wait for the deployment process to complete. Once the deployment process is done, we can move on to the next step which is to connect to the SSH terminal of our virtual machine. So for that, simply click on go to resource. And then from this dashboard, click on connect and choose SSH. And then what you're going to do is that you're going to copy this command and paste it inside either a command prompt or a PowerShell. And then you're going to replace this path for the path where you have downloaded your private key. After replacing the path for the private key, simply hit enter and when you're prompted, Type in yes and hit enter once more. So that is going to allow this command prompt to connect to the SSH service of our virtual machine. Now once inside the SSH terminal, the very first thing that you want to do is that you want to verify the installation for Ansible. So for that, simply type in the command Ansible space double hyphen version and then hit enter. So that is going to print out the version of Ansible that is installed in this virtual machine, which is 2.9.6. Now next up, what we want to do is that we want to learn how to create an inventory. So to create an inventory, I'm going to create a new file by using the command sudo nano inventory.yml file. And for the commands that I want to place within this file, I'm going to go over to the official documentation by Ansible and I'm going to copy some of these lines over here. You can come to this place by searching for Ansible documentation or by simply clicking the link in the description box. Anyways, simply paste these lines inside that inventory.yml file. And then what you want to do is that you want to change this host to something that is actually active. Now I have created a host for this example on Amazon. So I'm going to copy that public IP address and paste it inside my SSH terminal. And after that, I also want to add in some more information like Ansible underscore user, which is going to be the user, which I'm going to use to connect to the SSH service of our second host. So it is going to be Ubuntu. And then I want to also allocate the SSH private key. So for that type in Ansible underscore SSH underscore private underscore key underscore file. And then I'm going to place that file in etc and Sybil. And the name of the file is going to be cis.pem. And I also want to specify the connection type. So for that type in Ansible underscore connection. And this is going to be an SSH connection. After that, what I can do is I can simply exit for that type in control O, hit enter and control X to save and exit from the file. And then I can run my configuration on my inventory. So for that, I'm going to simply copy this command and paste it inside my SSH terminal and then hit enter. After that, I also want to create this cis.pem file or my SSH private key file. So for that, simply type in sudo nano forward slash etc forward slash ansible forward slash cis.pem. Now what I want to do is that I want to place in the data from my private key file into this file and then save and exit from this pem file. Now after placing in the data in the pem file, what you can do is that you can run this inventory.yml file using the following command. So paste that command inside the SSH terminal and then hit enter. When you're prompted, simply type in yes and then hit enter. So what this is going to do is that it is going to ping the second host and return success to us. Now after setting up the host in the inventory file, what we can do is that we can run some playbook. Now a playbook is essentially a task or a set of tasks that you want to perform using your machine. So for that, simply come over to this official documentation and from here, I'm going to copy all of these lines. And what these lines are going to do is that it is going to ping my host and upon successful ping, it is going to print out a hello world message onto my terminal. 
So for that, I'm going to head back to my SSH terminal and then create sudo nano playbook.yaml file. And inside this YAML file, I'm going to simply paste in the line and then Ctrl O and Ctrl X to save and exit from this file. And to run this playbook, I'm going to copy this line and paste it inside my SSH terminal and execute it. So it is going to take a few moments to execute. But as you can see that after successfully pinging the second host, it printed out the message hello world. So that is how you can perform automated tasks using the playbooks. Anyways, that brings us to the end of this tutorial. Now, if you have any queries regarding this tutorial, make sure to leave that query in the comment section down below. And make sure to check out the link in the description box for the marketplace listing for Azure. And finally, if this video has helped you in any way, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel.